Hello students. Today we will start with the first chapter computer virus of class 7. Before starting, let us take a look on the topic of today's video. It will consist of what is virus, full form of virus, Jerusalem virus, type of virus, ex example of virus and source of virus. So, before going to the details, we have to know what is virus. A virus is a program which are created deliberately to damage the critical information of your computer. So, it has a full name. Let us learn what is the full name of virus. The spelling of virus is V-I-R-U-S. So, V stands for vital. I stands for information, R stands for resource, U stands for under and A stands for site. So the full form again, vital information resource under site. Now what is Jerusalem virus? Before discussing the Jerusalem virus, let me discuss few things with you that very few viruses are harmful. They display only a simple message but most of the virus does not harm your machine that much. But few viruses are very harmful. They destroy data or even the entire hard disk of your machine. So, virus attach themselves to the program or files and move from one file to the another file even to the disk. Some viruses attach themselves to a file and lie dormant. But when a certain date, date or event occur, they get triggered and become active. One such notorious virus is called Friday the 13th virus. It is also called Jerusalem virus because it was first discovered at the University of Jerusalem in the year of 1987, it gets affected every Friday that occur on the 30th of that month. Now, next topic is type of virus. Virus can be basically of four types. File infector, boot sector virus, executable file virus and macro virus. Let us know what is file infector. As we can see that it will destroy your file. But still we will discuss this topic in details. This is the most common type of virus. It adds virus code to the regular program code within the program file. So when the infected program is executed, other program files also get affected. These virus can cause Irreversible damage to the file by permanently destroying the content of your machine. Boot sector virus. This virus attach itself to the boot sector of the disk. This sector is the part of the disk where startup instruction and the file allocation table are kept. This can even destroy your operating system. Executable file virus. This virus stores itself in an executable file and infect other file each time the file is run or executes. And the last one is macro virus. This virus infects file that are created using certain application or program that contain macros. Now the example of virus. First, Example of virus is always worm. Worm is a harmless virus that simply replicate itself. But in the long run, it can over all the resources of your computer system and eventually computer become useless. Basically, it becomes slow. Next is Trojan horse. Trojan horse virus comes as a friendly program. However, it is very dangerous as it destroys all the data of your system. Trojan horse do not re replicate themselves, but they can be very destructive. Next is 
spyware a spyware program placed on a computer or mobile device without the user knowledge that secretly collect information about the user and then communicate or send the same information to someone outside of the source while the user is online that means the purpose of spyware is it will just look into whatever you are doing in your machine and it will inform the other person about your private data there are few other example of viruses are rootkit slipper alabama logic bomb christmas virus and so on now next is source of virus first source of virus is email as we know going uh, when we send a email that email may be affected by the virus but if the mail is affected by by a virus it cannot be only text there should be a picture or a video whenever we will click on that image or that link or that video your machine will get affected by the virus next is internet downloader there is a lot of stuff that to download from the internet but if sometimes whenever we we are going to download something from the internet the link is corrupted that means it is affected by the virus whenever you will download that file to your machine your machine will get affected distribution of software if your computer is virus affected and you you copy a software on a cd to distribute to the someone the virus of your computer might also get copied on that cd the person who install this software on this computer unknowingly get affected by this software and the last next part of this video we will discuss on the later video videos bye bye